10. I have 10 different concealers that I did try this year. We're going to go over each one so that you can know what my thoughts are about it. I've already told you about the ones that I did not like. These ones are mostly ones that I do like. Some were like a medium like, sort of a like. We're gonna get into that right now. I thought about doing this in a ranking style video like I did my foundation video that I just did for you guys, but I decided that you would know that my very favorite one was Kosas. And so let's just talk about Kosas and get it over with. I'm not wearing this today, but I wear this almost every day and I have since the day I bought it. I love this, I have it in three colors. And the reason is, is because I like to have a lot of light through here. I like a lot of coverage. Sometimes I like to have the color of just my skin. So I have it in a bunch different colors. I love this stuff. It is like not super hydrating, but it is not drying at all. And it almost self sets. And that's what I love about it. And I do not have any creasing. I love this stuff. It has changed the game for me. I had completely sworn off of concealers about halfway through the year where I was just like, no more, I'm not doing them anymore. And then this came along and I was like, okay, maybe I need to look at concealers again a little bit. So some of these concealers are the ones that I did try right before I found Kosas, but this has knocked it out of the park. This is the best concealer that I have found. Uh, I feel like it's completely worth the money. It's wonderful. And by the way, a lot of these concealers are high end. I just did not find very many from the drugstore that I liked, but I will tell you the couple that I did like from the drugstore. And this one is actually quite new to me. This one is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum Concealer. Concealer Serum. I do like this one. This is the one that I have on today right out here. It's really pretty. And it seems to be one that doesn't settle and doesn't show up extra texture and doesn't look cakey. And I'm so far really liking this. It's a little teeny tiny drop goes a long way. And you know, that goes without saying on every single concealer that a mature woman wears. If you use too much, you're going to hate your concealer. It's going to look cakey because this area right here is just full of wrinkles and lines. And if you put too much in there, then, you know, it looks even more wrinkly and it just looks cakey. And so use a very small amount of whatever you use. The Kosas, I can use a very tiny amount of powder to set it. This one from NYX, I have to use a little bit more. So I do like this very much, but it has not been my favorite from the drugstore. My favorite from the drugstore was the Catrice 18 Hour Wear True Skin. I love this. This is beautiful. This acts so much like the Kosas that it's the runner up. Kosas beats it out because it just performs so flawlessly. This one I have to kind of get a little baby with. I have to kind of baby this just a tiny bit in that I really have to make sure that this is worked into my skin. So that is a little bit of the drawback as far as 18 hour, hours go. I don't know if it really is. And it is very hydrating. It says that it is a hydrating foundation. I do feel like it is. So I do have to set it down a little bit. Sometimes I'll use a powder. Sometimes I'll just use a setting spray. Just depends on what mood I'm in, I guess, but it is a beautiful concealer and I do love it almost as much as I love the Kosas. Also, I tried the Creaseless one. This used to be the Maracuja from Tarte and they changed it to the Creaseless one and they had these little ones during the holidays in a three pack of with something else. And I had forgotten that I had tried it. So I am mentioning it here today simply because this is the most hydrating concealer I think I've ever seen. This is a very, you have to be very, very careful with this. You have to use such a tiny amount and spend a lot of time really blending it out. But boy, if you have that super dryness, that super crinkle underneath your eyes, because of how, how hydrating this is, you might really love it. But make sure that you use just a tiny bit, covers like a dream. It's very, very full coverage. And then I also wanted to mention this from Tarte. Now this is the new Tarte Shape Tape. Let me get the name of it exactly for you, Glow Wand. They were trying to dupe the like Touche Claw from from YSL, also Charlotte Tilbury, there goes my glasses, the Charlotte Tilbury. This, this does have a great property of really brightening up the area. I got mine 
a little bit too dark. I am going to probably pick up one that's a little bit lighter, but you can put this on top of your concealers and it just give a beautiful glow. And I like, I really like that about it. It just makes whatever concealer you're wearing just that much prettier. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to just take a tiny bit on my finger here and I don't want to use too much. So I'm going to kind of just can you see that? Can you see the little bit of light reflect that that just gave right there? It's really interesting and I think that they did a great job on it. And I feel like this was very overlooked this year. There wasn't very many people talking about it. I think it was because they were thinking that it was an actual concealer when I feel like what it is is it's just an added bit of light or an added bit of glow. So I like this very much. As I'm wearing this right this second it feels like it looks really good so I don't think I need a different color I actually do like this light color very much so I feel like that just adds a lot of light and it does add like a little bit of dewiness that reflects the light instead of you know having you see the hollows and everything that's underneath your eyes I really like that a lot and then I did try the Dior skin corrector um, this one is so pretty so pretty however Dior's colors are dark so if you are super fair you're going to probably have to order off of the dior website but this is pretty this is really beautiful and again this one looks like skin so if you don't have a lot of darkness like i do i mean super duper bad darkness then you really will love this because it has a medium coverage and it covers so well and it doesn't settle into your fine lines and wrinkles for me it was just that it didn't have enough coverage and i would have to put two coats on and then it would look a little bit too cakey on me however at one coat you know it's just gorgeous i did have so many people come back and say how much they love this and it is a beautiful concealer and i could highly recommend it to anybody it's just that pretty anastasia beverly hills did come out with a new one right now too and what is this one called magic touch concealer mine is in three i feel like this is a really good color for me and i also felt like it was just a neutral color so you didn't need it to be too pink and you didn't need it to be too yellow right you need it to be just in between i felt like it was really great coverage i do feel like this is more drying so if you're somebody that is and it's very full coverage if you're somebody that's looking for um something that is a little bit more hydrating this might not work for you but if you are somebody that has just a little bit of oils and you, but you do have a little bit of dryness under there still you might love this and you need a tiny tiny bit again goes such a long ways and i think that this was probably as far as everything i tried if i was gonna rank them i should have just ranked them um i would say the kosas and then the catrice and then the anastasia it was really really good i also tried the lancome tint idol ultra wear all over concealer and this was really great too and again this one is more drying it is a little bit more drying even than the anastasia so this one i had to be really careful with that was great in the summertime when i sweat underneath my eyes great coverage and it's super thin it's really really a thin formula so as far as being you know that ultimate coverage that you need without having to put too much makeup on this is really pretty this is the power fabric one from Giorgio armani this one was really good as far as its coverage and how it really lay across the eye but in the end i found that this would i don't know like six hours into it it would crease a little bit so this one was one that was probably lower on my list than others but i still felt like it was a good one and i don't want to completely count it out i just feel like it's not the best one that i tried for the year it had great coverage but and it was very very thin and as far as that power stretch technology that it talks about in here I don't know if it really was there for me, but I did enjoy it and I still have been wearing it some. And then the last one was the Stay Naked. And this is, I better get the name of it right. This is the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. And this says it, it has up to 24 hour wear. Does any makeup ever really wear up to 18, 24 hour wears? Wear? I don't know. I 
can't think of any that does but this does claim that it does i really have been enjoying this one this is a medium coverage it's not a full coverage at all and it does feel very skin like and so although i've been really enjoying it and i've been using it it's again it's probably down there lower on the list even though i like it it's not my very favorite in the whole world that I did try this this time. So if I was gonna say go out and buy stuff from the drugstore, it would definitely be the two I talked about from Catrice and NYX. And then if you're going to splurge and you're gonna go to high end, absolutely try the Kosas or try Anastasia Beverly Hills Gorgeous. And then please don't forget about that new Tarte Glow. It is really, really pretty. And I just think that it really does something really pretty to that area on your eyes. Now make sure you tell me down in the comment section if you tried any concealers that really knocked your socks off or if you have a standard that you go back to over and over again of course i want to hear that from you thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of your time with me oh by the way have you tried any of these i'd love to hear that from you too and are they any of your favorites or did you hate them let me know all about that in the comment section and we will get a conversation going about concealers i always love you guys input it is great Love you guys so very much, and I will catch you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.